My name is Andrew Wiedemann. I'm a third generation farmer. I'm also the research and development spokesperson for Grain Producers Australia, one of the national peak industry bodies. I've got an uncle who said that Wiedemanns are born to work and farming is their life, so I think he's pretty right. Since the early 80s, we've seen farming change dramatically. We've gone from very much a cultivation system program where we'd plough paddocks and cultivate paddocks. Now we're looking at no-till systems where we don't cultivate the land no-till is to conserve the moisture. In an environment like Australia, if you don't conserve moisture, you can't grow anything. And so that's the critical point, and that's why we farm like we do. We moved into becoming very reliant on paraquat. It's become an important part of the whole program, one that's cost-effective, minimises the amount of fuel that we use, minimises the amount of labour required, and minimises the overall number of passes across a paddock. The usage of paraquat is imperative for us as a control mechanism for resistant weeds. Paraquat has a threefold action right throughout the season, not just in terms of helping with the moisture conservation, but also with the crop production and quality production out the other end. If you're following the guidelines and you're doing things properly, it is very safe to use. We've got the closed loop systems now, the micromatic fittings, we don't get anywhere near the chemical. We just put it into the tank through its own system and we don't come exposed to it in any way, shape or form. Safety is the number one. The reality is if we lost paraquat, if we were going to go back to a, a tillage situation, then we would really be in all sorts of strife. And we don't have the environment to do that. So essentially you, you would take away, at a minimum, I would say two thirds of the potential production of farmland across Australia that's being used today for broadacre agriculture production of grain. We've got a huge challenge ahead of us. If we're going to feed everybody by the year 2050, we've got to come up with some really novel ways of doing it and we've got to conserve as much moisture as possible. The Australian environment demands it of farmers. The thought of not having products like paraquat in our rotations to support what we do, it's just going to be a real problem for us.